Um, for the first time since 1961, UK government debt has risen above 100% of GDP, ah. with the Office for National Statistics revealing that net debt reached £2.6 trillion as of the end of May. That's now, Mr hole. Speaker, in that context, the cost of replacing Trident could rise to between £287 million to £639 million. Now, given the huge pressure on public finances, will the Leader of the House make a statement in which I know my constituents in North Ayrshire and Arne would be very interested? Will she make a statement setting out whether or not she believes a blank cheque for replacing Trident is either acceptable or sustainable? Uh, well, I have already, um, in reply to um, uh, uh, the Honourable Lady for Edinburgh, um, uh, given the SNP this morning a lesson in uh, balancing the books. I, I don't think this government should take uh, should take any lessons from uh, the SNP uh, government that has uh, nearly two billion uh, between it, what it spends and uh, and uh, it, what uh, what. Uh, is in its budget. Um, but in addition to understanding cost and the price of everything, I think it is also important that us in this place understand the value of things. Trident uh, is uh, the, the nuclear deterrent. Uh, first of all, there is no blank cheque for the nuclear deterrent, um, but it is there doing a vitally important job. If, if honourable members in this place can't see the merits of us having a deterrent at this moment, uh, I, I don't know um, that they are ever going to be able to grasp this. Um, given that uh, any arguments about defence of this nation, our commitment to NATO, which the SNP purport to support, but um, commitments to having a nuclear deterrent are pretty fundamental uh, to being a member of NATO. Um, if, if all those arguments have failed in the past, let me try a new one, because I'm sure among her constituents uh, she will have a submariner. And she should ask that submariner why they're prepared to spend ten years of their lives underwater in service of this country. These are not trivial matters, and really the Honourable Lady needs to grasp the reality of the situation facing us. Scott Benton. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Many of my constituents were disappointed.